any uh, citizens as casualness back. I don't know where we're at. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I'm lost. Citizens C back. <laughs> citizens, we be back. back. No, he's here. He's be okay. He's, he's nearby. Hi, friend. Do you want to play? Oh, no, I'm going to wait. Cake? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, nope. gosh. Oh, Hi, friend. Okay, he didn't see me. That's good. It all so, worked out. I gotta, I gotta admit, when we record, yes. since I haven't edited an episode in what feels like years. It has at least been um, a year and a half. It, absolutely. At least. <laughs> um, uh, I went through the whole process of everything you do. And I, you know, like the noise reduction yeah. and everything. Yep. And I didn't quite understand. Ah! It sometimes, oh, good gosh. I, I, I messed up here. It's so close. I, messed I didn't up. quite understand because you you have us clap twice at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then you have us, um, you you have us uh, make, make silence for, for 30 seconds. Yeah. I didn't quite get it. But I totally understand it now. Yeah, right. Like the claps. <laughs> It helps so much. The double clap specifically, <laughs> not just one clap, which will be semi-close, but two claps. Yes. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Running away! <laughs> run away! Run away! Run away! Oh, and the noise I... reduction is interesting. I did not know Greedy. Audacity had that much power. Yeah, Audacity is a really powerful tool for something that's so free. Yeah, free, 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 free. free. Hey, it's Kaiko. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's um. <clears throat> so, I guess for for those who don't know, if it makes a little bit more sense. Um, Dan records on his end as well as you know me recording on my end. Um, and I have to sync the audio. So when he claps twice, I'm able to sync that up really easily visually. Um, Behind you. Oh. No, he's. Oh god. And. Just like a so I use that to signal it. What? <laughs> what happened? You, you got hit. I don't understand. What did you use? A Baphomad? Yes. Oh, I killed. Oh, oh you I, won. I did it. <laughs> wow. That, that was beautiful. Just, yeah, stick this in his head and pop it out. It's like a really Gosh. bad cyst or something. I don't know. Ugh. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Oh gosh, that's a big indent. Right? I'm gonna make a necklace out of it. Oh! Jeez, that's a whoa. Oh, he oh. is flexible. Oh, jeez, that is a harsh jump. Uh, I'm right into his head. Yeah. Hello. Poor oh, guy. Now he's dead. Or woman. <laughs> yeah, it was Mama Rex, boyo. Rest in peace. Yeah, he's dead now. You stabbed him in the head. It was just a wee old lizard. And that's why when people say, why are you afraid of bees? Man, just because it's smaller than you doesn't mean he can't hurt you. Bees that's all scary. I'm saying. Dad, look what bees we... are scary, man. Bees are sketchy. You have both Actually, very proud. I don't have a problem with honeybees. No. I had one land on my pants the other day, and he just kind of chilled. Huh. He chilled there, and I it, I just kept walking, and then when he was, you know, rested back up, he just flew away. It was nice. kind of nice. But then, like, we were looking at this house, and uh, we went back to it. They had a little tiny, like, workshop in the backyard. Yeah. And it had That's this nice. giant wasp's nest. Oh. And it was, like, it was beautiful. Like, the, the patterns and everything were really nice but it was just horrifying at the same time <laughs> yeah like, dude. it was it was so nice to look at but horrifying to look at the one all guy, at once there's a guy online that um i may have talking about it before i'm not sure um oh, where am i going here dinosaur planet yeah 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 um he's he calls himself the hornet king i'm pretty sure i talked about it before but he was a friend of mine and uh, growing up um He's actually one of my best friends growing up. And now he's got a YouTube channel. He's super successful. So if you want to see some horrifying bee crap, it go to his channel. <laughs> like, check it out. It's right. insane. What does he do? Just eradicate bees? Yeah, he's a he's a bee exterminator or a wasp 
Hornet exter exterminator, I'm sorry. But he also, like, knows Mason. Like, he worked as Mason for a while, so, like, if the bee uh, hive. And, like, there's one video of his um, from early on that the bees, like, went into the person's in their in their room where like there was I think our neighbor had to go in between the cinder blocks that like were on the other house but he was able to repair it because you know he does what he's doing with that kind of stuff right so it's like a little twofer um uh, no, I was actually at my parents house just like this past week because they found a yellow jacket nest in their garden uh they had huh. gone underground so I, like my mom sent me a picture of them um with this little camera pointing at it <laughs> like uh, recording and, and exterminating the bees so like, that's oh, wow. pretty cool i'm sorry not bees hornets <laughs> you, yeah you gotta get it right uh, so i, I have that, a lot of respect for people that can do that as a living yeah dude and he had a phobia would, of them. Yeah. like like straight uh, up what yeah really it's it terrifies him but he, he just does it <laughs> he recorded himself doing it and and that he's He's got he's got found his niche on YouTube, which is really cool. Is it is it funny, or is it just like it's, hey, this is how to do this? It's more factual. It's just watching him work. Yeah, it's just watching him work, oh. and he kind of explains what's going on with the hives and how they function. And he's actually now in his own shed, um, which is kind of cool because like now he lives down the street from my parents. So every time I go by, I'm like, oh yeah, there's there's his house. I, <laughs> I'm like, hey Brett, how's it going? Um, Every time we drive by, I, I'm sorry, no, I'm, I'll take a step back. His shed, he actually drilled a hole. Like, they they started building a nest on the outside of the shed. So he drilled yep. a hole into his shed, moved the nest inside the shed in a glass case. So their only entrance oh. is through that little hole. So he actually can, he's like, well, got a thing where he's watching them, he's watching them build the nest. Like, you can see the queen doing it, its thing, and, like, it's it's pretty fascinating, but also horrifying. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Yeah, it's... it's I'm gonna, I'm gonna I pass on that. hate hornets, but, like, I was still watch the channel every once in a while, because I'm like, oh, my God, this stuff is horrifying. Horrifying. They're just jerks. Yeah, no, that's like, all they are. Honeybees, honeybees will only sting if they have to. But hornets yes. are just like, hey, human, die. Yeah, exactly. They, they're, they're just, they're just dicks. You. Yeah. So my mom it's says she okay. had one uh, it stung her knuckle, and that's how she found out the yellow jackets were there. Uh, uh, to which I response was, you should have okay. punched it harder. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she apparently yeah, like much. the one stung her because they have a, they had live out in the country, so they had a bunch of deer and, and rabbits and stuff going into their garden. So they actually made a PVC fence. Fence. Wow, PVC fence um, around <laughs> it. Politics on the mind, man. Yeah, God, I hate freaking politics. Um, <laughs> so they they built that up so that deer and things wouldn't eat all their stuff. Well, my mom was taking the, it down so she could get in there and, and do some work. And a freaking yellow jacket stung her. And she goes back out later after, like, you know, putting some stuff on. And there's like 30 of them flying around. She's like, Well, gonna call Brett. <laughs> like, <laughs> Which is, your family's not allergic to bees, right? Uh, no. No one's allergic to my nausea, but we are. I'm terrified. I don't think my parents care. <laughs> but yeah, my, I know Brittany's allergic or potentially allergic. She's never been stung, so every time there's a bee, I'm like Brittany bee, <laughs> there's a bee. Yeah, I, I'm not really <laughs> sure because I don't think Brittany's ever been stung. No, she hasn't. But my mom, my mom's. But I, I was stung as a kid. And I don't really remember what happens, what happened too much, but I, I remember getting stung on the ankle bone. Oh. Which was just awful. I couldn't walk. That it bites. Hurt. Yeah. And uh, recently I had an injury and, and uh, I went to the doctors and they were like, hey, the, we're going to stick you with this needle. This is going to feel like a bee sting. And I just remember <laughs> wanting a bee sting more than that. <laughs> that's not okay. Yeah. They say paintballs feel like bee stings, but I, I don't agree with uh, that. I don't agree with that either. Leave me alone. Speaking of paintball. Yes. Uh, my coworkers want to go play paintball. And I'm not sure if it's just a, a work thing <laughs> or, uh, or we're allowed to invite people. But if you want to play paintball, man, that, that would, you should play paintball. I haven't done it in years. It's been oh, yeah. a long be time. Fun. Am I going the right way? I don't even know. 
Because if I'm allowed to invite people, uh, Maddie's coming. So uh, she's never played paintball either. Oh, it's so it's, it's fun. It's going to be an experience. It was... Whoops. Uh, I think I'm going the right way. I don't really know. Hold on. Let me. I'm gonna look at the guide for a second. Then I have a story about paintball, which I'm, again I'm pretty sure I talked about, but whatever. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, Chow it just says go to the temple. I'm sniffing All right. Fox's butt. Yeah, he's a weird like that. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Yeah, I was lucky. <laughs> parkour, parkour. So. The last time, actually, the last time I went paintballing was in college, and it was weird because I am very antisocial. I was even more so in college, um, and we went on this trip, and it was just a bunch of us. And for some reason, like it, you know, they just—it's college trip. Like, all right, everyone, just get into two teams, go. Like, we're just gonna just deal with it. Now, like, they were not—if you want to be on the same team, whatever, fine. So I like try to be on a team with a couple people that I knew. I wasn't really friends with anybody. I just kind of was there. For some reason, on I think our second or third match, I ended up becoming like the leader of a squad. It just happened. And it was one of the funnest oh. things I've ever done. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you feel so powerful. Yeah. Like, I just, and like, suddenly I was just like strategy. I think I was there taking pot shots and I was actually able to take some people out. So like they just kind of naturally like hey what we do and I was like okay you and it, like specifically there was one guy named Matt on my who ended up on the squad with me and this dude um I don't, I can almost guarantee you he's never gonna watch this and quite frankly I, I don't care he was a dick to me he really did not like me at all <laughs> um, we were in the radio club together and he he clearly like could not care less about my existence or anything about me and to the point of like you know. Then I, I'm annoyed at you and hate you because you exist, kind of person. I yeah. was like, whatever. He like listened to me straight up. He was, he was just like, all right, let's let's. Uh, what do you want me to do? Come on, let's go. Like, <laughs> and, he, and he followed my quote unquote orders with it. It was it was so weird and so fun. It felt See, awful because they sacrificed one girl by accident because I couldn't get a pot shot off qu quick enough. Oh gosh, <laughs> I had her. I had her flank some guys that hit go up on two guys straight on while I shot them from the side, and I didn't. My, I think my CO2 tank was starting to get low because it, the paintballs didn't go as far as they should have. I should have hit both of them. So you and didn't, I didn't get the chance to shoot this guy? Uh, no. But some other guys who were like professional, we are really into this. Guys came and like shot him in the face like five times. So I didn't. So oh gosh. <laughs> I I was like, that's enough. I, I'm satisfied. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> the last time we went, I went as a, a bachelor party because my, my co-workers wanted to throw me a bachelor party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, so we all went playing paintball, but we had an uneven number. So we invited this one guy, just a kind of just a random guy from work that we we knew a little bit. Okay. And he's like, oh, yeah, I love paintball. I'll bring my own gear. And we're, I, immediately we're all like, oh, gosh, what have we done? <laughs> I mean, he shows up decked out with like this professional thousand dollar paintball gun oh no and they were like all right dan pick your team and i was like <laughs> that guy I'm sorry guys but i'm gonna pick that guy <laughs> like there is no favoritism here that guy has skill and he was impressive it's 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 you can get into it man you have no fear it's it's impressive to watch people with no fear play paintball Wait. Just like book it straight up the field and then just don't eliminate everybody. Yeah. One of my favorite things was running just across the field getting shot at and, and somehow like the paintball so the paintballs move slow enough you can see them. It's not like you can. it's not like bullets where you're you're screwed. Like you, you can see everything coming at you. So it makes it even more panicky in a way. Uh yeah. am I going back out the I way mean of it's game? It's not like you can dodge them, per yeah. se. But, but like, it, it's kind of like airsoft, but yeah. easier to see. Yeah, exactly. You can see them coming but over the hill. you can't cheat. Yeah, yeah exactly. I've played airsoft a lot uh, growing up in, in Lancaster. And I gotta say, like, people would cheat so much in airsoft. airsoft. And it, it kind of ticks you off. And paintball is not that way. Like, you get hit, everybody knows. 
because you were just covered. <laughs> <laughs> and and that, that's pretty much it. Like, it, you can't cheat in paintball. No, it, it's just, oh, it's fun. I had a really good time. I, I'd like to take Brittany sometime, but I oh, think gosh. people will think I'm abusing her. So I try not. Can you imagine to do that? the bruises? Yeah, exactly. She bruises from like looking at things. Yeah, it's there. that's not a good idea, Matt. So she, <laughs> she's a big TikTok person, and I oh, whatever gosh. your opinion of it is, she filters through the crap and it shows me really funny stuff. And one of the guys right. on there was like, "Oh damn it, I am going backwards." Um, one of the guys on there was like, "What is up with wet women?" Their bodies are like peaches. Like they just get bruised or bruised pears. Like guys, he's they like do. every girl I know has at least three bruises all the time. Like <laughs> what are you <laughs> and guys doing? Will just get hit by like a freaking bowling ball and we're like, yeah, nope, good. exactly. Like oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna get right. a little farther and then we'll be at the next episode. How's that sound? Sounds good. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.